Hey guys, welcome back to VR Essential. Some breaking VR news just released about 20 to 30 minutes ago from the time of this recording as Roblox has an update for the Quest. We're gonna find out when will it be launching, why is this a big deal, and dive more into Roblox itself. So let's go into the actual article itself. So this article is by The Verge, written by Jay Peters. Roblox is coming to the Quest VR headset. It's launching in an open beta in the next coming weeks. So for those who don't know what Roblox is, by the way, it is a social media platform for people to be able to go online and basically using avatars to meet and greet and to play with each other and do all sorts of different things. You can build so many different worlds in there. It is fantastic. There are hundreds and hundreds of worlds. And by the way, Roblox is used by a lot of different people, including all these various different artists who have done performances and concerts inside of Roblox, including David Guetta, the very, very famous DJ, everybody. I don't know if you know David Guetta, but if you do know him and like his music, do smash the likes because he is phenomenal. I have to say he's one of my favorite DJs. The amount of graphics, the amount of special effects, the amount of interaction you can do inside of Roblox is pretty incredible, I have to say. There's also been Crocs who did some events there as well. Uh, we also have Sir Elton John who did some events there as well. Let me just can the music so that we don't get flagged by the copyright owners. There we go. Uh, who did original Rockstar concert inside. So that is also pretty, pretty awesome. I haven't actually gone to his world in Roblox, but if you have experienced it, please leave us a comment below and let us know what you thought about the world he did. Uh, there are also tons of other people who have done Roblox worlds, like 21 pilots as well for their various different events. And, you know, I mean, I could really go on and on and on. One of the most uh, famous lands inside of Roblox is actually Nike lands. Don't know if you guys have actually gone into Nightland. I had the opportunity to go into. Now, actually, you can go inside of Nightland. I think it's still there. It's still available. Uh, basically, you can do a lot of different games. You can purchase different things. Um, I mean, it's a really cool platform for companies who are looking to especially get in touch with the Gen Z, I believe, or Gen X, excuse me, Gen X, the younger crowd from the age, let's say, of 8 to maybe, you know, 14 or 15. I mean, the people in Roblox are generally quite young, although there has been uh, an uptake of people who are a little bit older now, uh, between the ages of between 16 to 24, apparently. So the younger spect, the, the older specs of Gen X and the younger spec of um, millennials. And honestly speaking, you know, yeah, it's just what they love to do. They love to do all these kind of things. And there you go. In terms of all the companies who've been using it, I mean, we're looking at Nike, we're looking at Chipotle, Gucci, Clarks, Walmart, um, and a whole bunch of other people have actually been using Roblox uh, you know, for their corporate events, for, as I said, doing events and targeting all the young crowd in order to promote all their various different products. So let's go inside of the actual article and find out a little bit more, all the different tidbits as to what this means and what all the updates are about. Going back to The Verge. Um, so Roblox will be coming to MetaQuest VR. And by the way, we've been... Roblox news going into, into Quest 2 has been rolling since January or maybe even before. So we've been waiting a long time for, you know, potentially that, um, you know, that, that, that app to go into the Quest. So natively you could use it. At the moment, you can go into Roblox using virtual reality devices, including all these various different headsets. However, for every single headset, the G2 over there, uh, the DPVR in the middle and the Quest, the Pico 4 there, uh, we basically have to, they have to code it differently. And honestly speaking, it's very troublesome to use a headset right now in Roblox. The controllers are not binded properly. Some of the headsets are not, just don't work. It's very hard. You need to use a, an Xbox S controller for most of them on the keyboard. It's just not very native to VR, which to me is very weird because they're a metaverse platform. Anyway, go figure. Let's go back into the article itself. So Roblox is automatically pushing some experiences that use default player scripts to support VR devices, meta right? 
they found that some of those experiences typically run well in VR without modifications. No, oh, well, maybe for Meta in terms of what they're developing is true, but for other devices, as I just mentioned just now, not really. It's quite quite hard, quite tough to get it to work properly. They're sending, they're seeding, sorry, the Roblox VR library with great content from day one. There should be a lot of experiences to choose from. The platform has more than 15 million active experiences right now. I mean, Roblox are, by the way, a listed company, everybody. They have millions and millions of people inside reportedly. And also, uh, you can use it without an actual VR headset. You can use it with a computer, with your phone. So, you know, there are multiple different devices like Rec Room or like VR Chat that, you know, you can actually use uh, Roblox. So, say the Rec Room, VR Chat are head-to-head -head in terms of what you can do. Although Roblox offers a little bit more flexibility in terms of creativity and what you can do inside of the metaverse. So, you know, that's where it really has its edge, I would say. All right, so let's go back to the article. Um, so Roblox has supported VR through PC-based headsets, as we spoke about, letting you play on devices like the Oculus Rift, HTC Vive, and Valve Index, as well as the G2, DPVR, Pico 4, as I mentioned. Uh, you can even play Roblox on Quest 2 right now by linking the headset to your computer. But as I mentioned before, the controllers are just not really working properly. And some of the worlds, if they're not binded properly, then it just doesn't work very well. And by the way, for Roblox, if you want to build a world in it, you can't use native you have to use their special code in order to build the world inside. So it can be quite costly and you need to get developers who are specialized to know how to create these worlds inside of it to the point that you actually have to hire Roblox uh, developers to do it. And it, it's a very, very expensive, you know what I mean? But, you know, some companies, as I mentioned before, uh, are all for it. Uh, so, yeah, so that's basically it uh, in terms of the Roblox. So. It doesn't seem like there's actually any news in terms of time. It just says, uh, you know, it just says that, uh, yeah, it doesn't say anything really new. I mean, we, it doesn't say there's nothing more to it. Okay, this is where the, no, this is a Lenovo article now. It's different. So it doesn't seem like there's any news on terms of, in terms of timeline, which is quite odd. Uh, it's launching in open beta in the next coming weeks. Yes, we know that, um, but I guess, there you go, guys. Um, you know, the Quest version of Roblox on Quest 2 and Quest Pro and Meta says Roblox will work on the forthcoming Quest 3 as well. So maybe, maybe what this basically means is even though they didn't actually prescribe a date um, as to when it will be launched, well, if it's natively going to be on the Quest 3, then we know it's going to be there before October. So now at least we have a bracket. I guess that's the news. We have a bracket of time, guys. Uh, we know it. We don't know when it is, but we know it's going to be on the Quest 3. So it should be there by right by, by the time the Quest 3 launches. I'm not quite sure. Speculative because it's not confirmed. But there you go, guys. Some news about Roblox. Are you excited? Do you use Roblox? Are you a company? Are you someone who does events in Roblox? Are you a content creator in Roblox? What do you think of Roblox? Or do you simply, nah, don't care. Not for me. Too young, the crowd in there. Personally speaking, I don't go there because I don't need to. And the, the crowd is just too young. If I went in there and I wasn't doing some event or something, then I think for me, it would be a little bit strange to be in there. Also, uh, you know, may, but maybe you have a, a child, you're a parent, you go in Roblox to double check what it's like. And also don't forget the Roblox very recently, by the way, was blocked by the PlayStation PSVR, I believe, for uh, safety, child safety issues. So I'm not quite sure if it's been, you know, the, 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 they've been unblocked or they're still blocked. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you can access using your PSVR Roblox because they were blocked for a little while. They could still be blocked due to child safety issues, guys, which is, you know, I don't know, it's quite, that's, that's quite a piece of news. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there. But guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. Hit the likes and the notification bell for these, to be notified about these breaking VR videos. I will see you very soon. Now I've got to go to bed. It's about two o'clock in the morning here in Singapore. Bye for now. Bye-bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.